it's December, I think. It's hard to tell with these warm temperatures, but it's certainly better than freezing. And here with some ideas to take advantage of this nice weather this weekend is Mix FM's Mrs. Grant. Mrs. G, thanks for coming back. Of course, anytime. And so are you a fan of this warm, t warm weather or, or do I you am. prefer cold? Well, I, we're now below the 80s. So yes. I'm happy. Exactly. It just depends on how you want your 78. Do you want it with clouds, with you some clouds, or sunny? You're going to get it all this weekend. I just think it's <laughs> funny. I was d doing some decorating, and I was in flip-flops over the weekend yes. for Christmas decorations. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, but let's talk about food this weekend because yes. there's this huge Heritage Festival coming up. 13th annual Tamal and Heritage Festival. It's at Desert Diamond Casino. If you love tamales if you've never had tamales and you'd like to try them this is the place to be tomorrow from 10 a.m to 5 p.m it's free admission and it gives you the opportunity to taste so many different kinds and the smells and you know a lot of us are like oh, okay so i like green corn or <laughs> i like be there is so much more to it than yeah. that and you can experience it all at ava amphitheater at casino del sol tomorrow there really are so many flavors so many different combinations that you can have i mean you yeah. could probably i could probably put down like five of those things no problem they're Easy. so delicious yes and if they're made correctly they're moist and, and they're just really tasty yes and um, the olive just make right. sure you take the pit out Exactly. So that's a good way to, to celebrate the heritage. Yeah. Of course, this time of year, Miranda always puts on their uh, amazing holiday festival along with the tree lighting, too. Yeah, and so that's going on tomorrow. They're going to do 20 tons of snow. Not quite sure how they're going to do that. <laughs> I may go just so that I can see what that's all about. They'll have live music. They'll even have some uh, food vendors there. At 6.30 tomorrow night is when they're going to do the tree lighting. And then right after that, at 6.45, they're going to show the movie Elf. It's at the Marana Municipal Complex, which is at 11555 West Civic Center Drive in Marana. Mm -hmm. If you live there, you know where it is. <laughs> so it should be a lot of fun. It's all free tomorrow as well. Well, they've been growing that thing and growing it. Yeah. And it's just going to be better than ever, I'm sure. And you know, this time of year, we always have a lot of walks, a lot of different 5Ks, and this one is especially important for the kids. Yeah, it's the walk for kids, and it's to benefit the Ronald McDonald um, charities, the Ronald McDonald House Charities. I don't know how many of you are very familiar with it, but it truly is family friendly. It's about the families. It's about the kids. They'll have family friendly activities, music, snacks, appearances by Santa and Ronald McDonald to uh, Sunday morning at nine o'clock. And it's right there on the mall at the University of Arizona. And we couldn't ask for better weather too. I mean, it's going to be gorgeous. You yeah. can go out there, support this amazing cause. And you say it's family friendly, something that's not family friendly, however. Not at all. Our next topic. John Waters. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people want to see him. He's brilliant and as a writer and otherwise, but he is going to be performing his one man Christmas show tomorrow at the Rialto Theater at eight o'clock. Definitely, they're telling you even 21 and over for these tickets, so they won't even let your kids in, and there's good reason for that. He's funny as all get out and brilliant, but definitely not a show for the kids. Certainly a polarizing figure. You know, uh, yeah. adults I'm sure will appreciate the comedy. <laughs> Again, 21 and over, don't take yes, the kids. Uh, let them be with the babysitter. Let them go, you know, play at the arcade. Well, who does that these days? I don't know. Does anyone <laughs> play at the arcade? No, they all have their Xboxes at home now. <laughs> that's true, they have the arcade at they home. Do. They don't have to go and drop the quarters in. <laughs> Although I love the pinball place that's yeah, downtown. You know, I haven't been there. Oh, is you gotta cool? go. Is it cool? Yes, it's oh the coolest gosh. thing. Oh my gosh, I have to go. It is the coolest thing. So, you know, that's uh, good for, the, good for uh, adults, of course. That's uh, a performance. So let's talk about music, too, yeah. that, that we have coming up. Also at the Rialto Theater on Sunday night, Warren G. This is the show that got postponed in September. He's finally coming. Many people who know the G-Funk era, early 1990s, will be very excited. So there'll be the older crowd, those of us who remember that time. And then there's also some young kids who have now rediscovered him. One of his biggest hits is Regulate, yeah. and, and he is known for playing it at every show that he does. He performs it. So if you are a fan, you get to see him right here in Tucson on Sunday night at 8 o'clock at the Rialto. And I love that video, too. He's playing there with Kenny G, Kenny G. On, the I know. G on the Jimmy Kimmel Show. And, you know, the legendary G's, it's Warren G, yeah. Kenny G, and Mrs. G <laughs> joining us here on the show. Good one. <laughs> I'm going to use that. I'm stealing that from Alex. Just You should. You know. Absolutely. You deserve it. Thanks, as always. Have a great weekend.
weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Now be sure to listen to 94.9 Mix FM every weekday morning to catch Greg and Mrs. G on the morning mix and you can stream it anytime online at mixfm.com. And as always, we'd be glad to mention your event next Friday. Just send a message to our Facebook page with all the details.